Okay na sa mga pinagandaman ng mga sumunod sa RMND YHB to Kid Negros and Earth Sunday TV. Iniin nyo nga si Patrick Mokaba, kakaupod natin si Gerard Andrade, Melvin Protenia, and Israel Yulingo. In this channel, we're making videos about the history of Negros, its culture, its tradition, people, and sometimes general and human interest. If this is your first time watching our video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you won't miss any of our content. Our question for today is from Althea all the way from Pampanga and her question is I think sure Pat, paano kin pangalanan ang Isla Sang Negros? Thank you so much Althea for your question. How did Negros get its name? As what we all know that the Spanish colonizer named the island of Negros after the dark skinned natives that they observed. But how and what exactly happened? Why the Spaniards called it Negros when the island itself already called Buglas? By the extant records of my research from historian Pierre Negros and also from the written account of Antonio Pegapeta and Francisco Albo, the island had been known by several names like Nayon, Panilonghon or Panilonggo, Ilo, Mamaylan, Siparay, Cagayanes, and Buglas. However, Buglas is the accepted old name of the island and referred to the old Spanish maps and documents as the real name of the island. And one of the old records, the map of Negros was drawn by the name Diego Lopez Pupidano way back in 1572 showing an island named Buglas in Soles. While Paninongon or Panilongo and Cagallanes could not be ascertained where they are located or whatever happened to them. But it was mentioned by Tigapeta and Francisco Albo during their expedition. The term Buglas is an old Hiligaynon word meaning to turn from or cut off. There is a theory of continental drift which suggests that the islands of the world drifted from each other a thousand years ago. That split the islands of Negros from the rest of the islands that now compose the Philippines. However, there is also another theory from Larry Hironca that the name of the island Buglas derived from the volcano Mount Kamlaon. But based on the research that I have and based in his theory, it was never mentioned by Antonio Pegapeta and Miguel de Luarca that the Buglas was derived from the volcano Kamlaon. However, as I mentioned, it is his theory, but not a proven fact. Maybe sometimes in the future, if there are new evidence or discoveries that prove that this theory is true, then it will be accepted as truth. And it might change of what we have learned from the past. But as of now, I will stick to the published book of the historians that I had researched. The Spaniards were not the first European that set foot in Negros. The Portuguese already visited the island before 1565. However, the Portuguese did not settle or colonize the archipelago thinking it was belonged to the Spanish domain under the Treaty of Tordesillas of June 7, 1494. I did not mention the Philippines because way back then, the Philippines as a sovereign nation state does not exist. The Portuguese visited the island just to harass the natives and take captives to be sold in slave market. This kind of acts or marauding instill fear to the natives that when they saw a large ship or white men, they flee and scamper to the hills. The island of Negros was accidentally found by the Spaniards when Miguel Lopez de Legazpi arrived in the island of Bohol in 1565. His mission is to set up a Spanish colony in the Pacific. His intention was to proceed to Cebu, which he had learned about from the previous Spanish expedition, to be the best starting point for the colonization of the archipelago. Miguel Lopez de Legazpi sent a reconnaissance party to Cebu to study the island and how he could proceed without any hindrance. In the command of the expedition was Esteban Rodriguez, along with Juan Aguirre and Father Diego Herrera, an Agustinian priest, and they brought along with them the Burnian merchant named Tuasan, who was captured by the Spaniard on their way to the islands of what is now Philippines. Tuasan acted as their interpreter. The Rodriguez expedition set sail from Bohol on March 30, 1565, with provision for eight days. The voyage to Cebu was to take only at most three days. They were to return immediately and report to the reconnaissance to Legazpi. 
From Bohol, the expedition moves up toward Cebu, but tungod sa mabaskog nga hangin and powerful sea currents, forced their vessel to sail southwest toward Sikihor Island and from there westward, a large island called Binglas. Twelve members of the expedition went ashore and encountered an old couple and a boy. Ginkulbaan kag nahadlok ang mga nitibo, thinking they were the Portuguese, but Tuasan, the interpreter, assured them they meant no harm. The place where the Spaniards set foot in Negros is believed to be Sambuangueta Negros Oriental on the southwestern tip of the island. In the afternoon, the Spaniards sit sailed westward. It seemed a mistake because by the morning light, they found themselves of course to the west rather than their original direction, north and east toward Cebu. But instead of turning back, they sailed farther towards the west, the northward, observing the coastline and taking notes or making maps of the island that they found. They saw a large settlement by what is now the town of Himamaylan. They sailed farther northward, noticing a great number of people close to some settlements, but they did not land. They continued their voyage until they found the last settlement of Tukgaguan. The voyage continued to the north to the east in the general direction of Cebu. They continued to follow the coastline moving east, but instead of sailing on towards the east, the expedition kept close to the shoreline. From Tukgaguan, the voyage was uneventful. They found no people or observed any more settlements. Replenishing their stock became a problem. They had provision for 8 days, but they already traveled for 20 days. They had not dared take food in the places they visited because they were instructed to respect the properties of the natives to avoid creating hostility or conflict. Sorry if I mispronounced the name Tukdagawan, it's actually Tukdawan. We will discuss more about Tukdawan in our upcoming videos. Rodriguez, however, was forced to land finally to secure fresh water and replenish their stack kay wala siya sang idea kung asta san o nila malabot ang buhol. It was fateful decision where the explorer met an unexpected violent confrontation with the inhabitants of the place. The place where they landed was to believe the present town of Tanhai. Rodriguez dropped the anchor and ordered a crew to secure fresh water. The watering party nakakita sang nagaisahanon nga ni Tibo kag as if nga nagahulat sa ila kag ginpamangkot ni Tuasan ang ni Tibo kung diin makakita sang tubig nga mainom the man appearing to be friendly and helpful offered to guide them they moved inland until they reached the spring water naguna si Tuasan sa grupo kag upo di Tuasan ang ni Tibo kag sang malabot nila ang bukal kag sang pag-inom ni Tuasan sa bukal the native thrust his spear at the Bohemian's back and killing the guide instantly. Other natives who had been waiting, concealed in the nearby thicket, burst out of hiding and attacked the watering party. The Spaniards fell back to the shore and after getting the proper distance, a contingent stopped and turned around to fire the muskets against the attacking natives. Ang intensyon sa Espanyol na pagtiro sa mga nitibo is more on sa paghadlok sa ila kaysa patyon. The natives, after seeing the firepower of the Spaniard, froze on their tracks while others turned back or dropped to the ground. The rest of the watering party returned to their boat without fresh water but unharmed. The natives also vanished into the forest. After that event, the Spaniards lifted their anchor as if nothing happened and sailed on to reach Bohol with plenty to relate about their new discovery. Upon the return of Rodriguez's mission, the report to Legazpi, Rodriguez and Aguirre mentioned the presence of an island with black people or Los Negros, referring to the Aitas who ambushed them in Tanay. Though they knew that the name of the islands as Buglas, they just referred to the island as Isla de los Negros or Isla de Negros. And that's how the island of Negros got its name. Although, in some documents like maps, the name of Buglas remained until 1700. The official document, however, the name Negros referred to the island of Buglas. Early Spanish documents used the name Pinglas and Buglas interchangeably. Though the error might be just a matter of penmanship or pronunciation. In reality, if the name Buglas was not changed to Negros, we can call ourselves as 
Buglasanan instead of Negrense. Also, did you know that there is a festival called Buglasan in Dumaguete City and it is celebrated in the middle of October? The celebration of the Buglasan festival may be considered a way of remembering the first name of Negros Island. Alright, before I end this video, if you have some questions and clarification, comment down below. And if you wanted to win 300 pesos, pagi sa pagsaba sa trivia, magpamati lang sa RMNDYHB to give Negros kada Domingo, alas 11.30 ang aga, hasta alauna sa hapon. Kaya kung gusto naman ninyo mga nagabagang na balita, kag mga matahong na drama sa RMNDYHB, magpamati lang sa RMNDYHB 747 kHz sa radyo. Kaya follow lang ang amon ng Facebook page at DYHB Katak RMN page. Di shout out sa Kaya Perhil Katalan in Thailand and to all the OFWs in Saudi Arabia and Houston, Chicago, and LA. Thank you so much sa supporting nyo ka pag-subscribe sa aming channel. Alright, so... Alright, thank you so much and see you next week.